So now we have got this world of electrification that's coming towards us. It's the inevitable march of electrification. And lots of people may be put off going to buy a used electric car because of the stories out there about battery technology and whether the, the batteries are on lease and got me handed back. Uh, you should really research before you go and buy a car, but it's not that difficult. And here's my rundown of what I think you should be looking for out there. Of course, let's go for the king of all electric cars, and that's the Tesla Model S. Uh, it's the first desirable electric car, and the first electric car to offer a decent range. Uh, 200 miles, easily achievable for normal driving. Later versions of that car have over 300 miles on a single charge. There is a charging network for Tesla around the globe that has still not been beaten by any other manufacturer. All manufacturers need to align themselves really to what Tesla are doing because they've got it down pat and that's why I recommend the Tesla. Um, the BMW i3 is one of those small, compact, fun little cars. Low rolling resistance tires. Uh, you can have a range extended engine in one of those, which means you've got that tiny little generator underneath if you're going to buy a used one. If you're looking for any BMW i3, you're likely to find a decent car. They're still really good looking, even though they was launched back in 2013. That's eight years ago. And every time I see one on the road, I take a second glance at it. Um, numerous versions over the years, including the sporty i3S. So look out for one of those. They've got the nice trim pieces on them. Uh, very nice. My choice would be the 94 amp hour pure electric. It's the best range, 120 miles uh, for little cash. It's around 13,000 pound for a decent used one. So look at one of those. Of course, Renault. They jumped into the market a little while ago with the Renault Zoe. And that's a cracking little uh, car in, an, in its electric form. Um, it always remains one of the best value electric cars out there in the used car market. And I see them pop up all the time. There's a choice of battery lease or owning the battery when new, uh, but go for owning the battery when buying used. It makes much more sense. Uh, and nice to drive around the same size as a Clio, roomy inside with a nice decent boot. And you get about 140 miles range on one of those later versions up to 245 mile range. Now, when you consider that it's a little Renault Zoe, a small little hatchback car, um, and you're likely to use it, go backwards and forwards to work, or take your, your kids to school, or, or just potter down the shops and back. Uh, the average daily commute is only 15 miles. So one charge probably lasts you a whole week. Uh, the Volkswagen e-Golf. Again, Volkswagen, uh, great company. They do some amazing cars and they pumped lots of technology into this e-Golf. It's like a Golf but it's electric. It's got great residual values, excellent build quality, a very classy image. It's roomy inside, good to drive. It's quicker than the petrol and diesel Golfs, which is fantastic. If you've got that sort of bit of boy racer inside you, like a GTI, you want to go fast, you're going to find it with the e-Golf. Uh, early cars, they managed around 125 mile range. Uh, later ones are about 180 mile range. So look out for a later car. Um, now, the last one on my list, uh, I could say the Jaguar I-Pace, but actually I'm not. I'm going to say uh, the Porsche Taycan, um, simply because I bought one. And I bought one as a company car owner. That means I can get the tax man to offset the cost of buying that car from new. Uh, the Taycan is a supercar, crammed with technology. I've got the humble 4S, uh, the starter model. I put a few little bits and pieces on it. But honestly, it's a wonderful car to drive. I get 250 mile range out of it. There's super fast charges up and down a motorway network called Ionity. Um, it costs pennies to charge up. So there you go. If you're gonna go down that road of electrification and you're thinking of buying used, take my advice, go for the best car you possibly can afford. Go for a car that's got the longest range, but also look at the charging network out there and how you can get that car charged. And good luck.